Hello and welcome to a brand new video series. As a team of developers which works almost exclusively with Unity in both gaming and non-gaming projects, we are always amazed by the helpful and vibrant community around it. Many extraordinary people share their knowledge for free on a regular basis and are open to help everyone from the struggling beginner to the seasoned veteran. A common format under which this happens is the weekly Unity Tips hashtag on Twitter. We are taking part in this tradition for a few years now and in the past two years we posted a tip on every Unity Tip Tuesday and did not miss a single one. That makes over 100 consecutive tips from us alone and there are plenty of developers out there doing the same or even more. To honor this group effort we want to establish a video series to gather the most interesting tips from each week in a compact list to make those creators more visible and to help even more people. For our first episode we are going to look at tweets that were posted or retweeted on January 11th, 2022. The first one is by Dimitri aka Dimka. He is a game designer and indie developer with 402 followers on his account. You can find a link to some of his work in his profile. He shows us a way to improve the look of low poly meshes in Unity. To achieve a smoother visual he changes the normals mode and adds a smoothing angle. This results in a nicer gradient in the lighting of the model. The next one is by Sunny Valley Studio. Sunny Valley's real name is Peter and he has 325 followers. Besides making games he also creates tutorials. Check out his account for some links. His tip is about using a canvas group and the alpha value to fade UI elements in and out. He also mentions that you can use coroutines to do this from your code. A short one comes from Titan DS Company who makes educational games and have 569 followers. Check out their profile to find links for the educational games they made. Their tip is to delete the automatically created start and update functions in a new script because even when they are empty they will be called by the internal functions of Unity and therefore use resources. A visual tip comes from Eric Nordius who makes Unity and Blender projects. He already has 1080 followers to his account. You can find links to his work in his profile. His tip is to use detail textures to hide the repetition on your textures. Just add a noise texture to the slot and everything looks a bit more natural. Another short one comes from Musavi. He makes games, assets and tools and has 11 followers. Check out his profile. He discovered that there is a print function in MonoBehaviors which does the same as debug.log. Talk about mixing Python with c -sharp. This saves a few characters and the developer can go home earlier. Since we also participate in the weekly event, here is our tip. If you wonder why Visual Studio complains about warnings that you do not see in the editor, take a look at the project settings and see if the checkbox Suppress Common Warnings is checked. If you uncheck it, the editor will no longer hide those warnings. That's it for this week. We hope we could show you some useful tips and maybe introduce you to one or two new creators to follow. In any case, if you liked the tips, please consider leaving the author a like, retweet and follow to show them your appreciation. If you liked this video and the concept, please leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment if you have questions or suggestions. Thank you for your time and see you next week.